Hello. Thank you very much for joining me in episode 3 of Comic A Day. In this episode, I am going to talk about Tintin. Well, in 1930, the Belgian cartoonist Herge published Tintin in the land of Soviets. This was a big hit. And post 1930, over a period of 56 years spanning between 1930 to 86, 24 Tintin books were published. Well, in this episode, what I would like to do very quickly is to give you some sort of an idea as to how do you even start reading Tintin as a comic book because there are 24 titles. Well, the very first book, this is what I mentioned, Land of the Soviets. Only difference compared to all other books is this is in black and white format. Well, immediately after that, Tintin is very, very controversial topic. Tintin in the Congo. This is a hot copy, by the way. This was not given as part of this bundle. Tintin in America. Cigars of the Pharaoh. The Blue Lotus. Tintin travels to China. The Broken Ear. The Black Island. King Autarchus Kepta. The Crab with the Golden Claw. Beautiful story. The Shooting Star. The Secret of the Unicorn. This is actually part one of the story, goes to part two, which is the Red Dragon's treasure. The Seven Crystal Balls. Again, it's really, really interesting story. The next two books are very hilarious. Prisoners of the Sun, involving Thompson and Thompson, followed by Land of Black Gold. Destination Moon is book one of the series, followed by book two, which is Explorers on the Moon. Then comes The Calculus Affair. Then the Red Sea Shocks, very interesting story. Tintin in Tibet, the Castafair Emerald, followed by Flight 704 to Sydney, and the Tintin and the Pickers, and the last book, Tintin and Alf Art. Well, this is something which has been a very passionate adventure for me in terms of going behind, researching about Tintin and picking up everything in the name of Tintin, which has been made available by the online as well as some of the bookshops, which me and my son have been diligently running around to start, you know, making sure that we pick it up and preserve it. Uh, one book which uh, is not covered with respect to this series is basically the book which came as a movie Tintin and the Lake of Shocks. Besides this, there are books which are specific to Tintin's cousins, which I will be talking about it in a separate episode. Well, I wish you all good luck to go grab this book and mentioned wise go with the sequence so that you don't, you know, kind of get lost with respect to which one you should read first, etc. So do a thorough research on your own, which will also help you a long way. With that, let me say bye and look forward to seeing you very soon in the next interesting episode. Till then, today, go grab a book. Bye-bye.